Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. I'm a full-time reseller, and I started doing these research videos about two months ago so I could learn more, and then I share what I learned with you. And I have to tell you, this has been one of my favorite videos to do. I learned so much, and there's so much fun stuff in this video. This is a research video on hats. These hats are going to start at $500 and go up over $10 thousand dollars for hats it's not going to be those vintage snapback trucker hats alone there are also fedoras in here there are beanies there are cowboy hats there are a vast array of hats in this video i learned a ton and i think you will too All right, so we are starting off at $499 and I wasn't gonna go below 500, but I saw this hat and I had to put it in there. I used to be a really big Mountain Dew drinker. I am not anymore, but this Mountain Dew hat is just classic. So this first one is a vintage Mountain Dew K product snapback hat made in the USA. This one sold for $499. Here you can see on the back, it is the snapback and it says K products. K products is a great brand and they're not all gonna sell high. I personally love picking up hats because I can find them a lot of times for a dollar or two at yard sales, and they're steady 15, 20, 25 dollar sales, but you might get lucky and find one of the hats in this video and they bring big money. So up next is a vintage Detroit Tigers logo athletic. This is a splash snapback hat. So look at those splashes across. This is from the 90s. This one sold for $500. Here on the side, you can see it was autographed, though the seller didn't put that in their title. They might not have been able to identify or authenticate the signatures. And here on the bottom of the bill, it is also autographed and here is the tag showing this is logo athletics this is a brand you're going to see quite a bit more of coming up and this one was an auction it got 23 bids to sell for that 500 dollars all right this next one is the first of many that you are going to see that are three stripe you need to watch out for three stripe hats you're gonna see why by the end of this video this is just the very beginning this is a vintage 70s snapback three stripes puff trucker hat this is ford country this one sold for 499 dollars here on the side you can see this three stripes you can also see that it is mesh and here on the back you can see it does say made in the usa up next is a corduroy one corduroy is another thing i've learned with hats can mean really good money i've never found any worth this much but most of my corduroy hats i have found have sold for 40 plus dollars so this is a vintage corduroy sports specialties script chicago bulls snapback hat so it is important to put script in the title that is a really good keyword if it is that cursive writing this one sold for 499 dollars here you can see the hat up close this is pretty simple but it is corduroy which sells well and then here you can see the tag showing that it is sports specialties this next one is the only one that is from a band, but it's pretty cool. It's a Smashing Pumpkins hat. This is a no alternative comp 1993 vintage Smashing Pumpkins Sonic Youth hat. It sold for $500. And here you can see on the back, they're just showing that it is a snapback. This next one is a Nike hat that doesn't look like a Nike hat. It does have the Nike check, so you would be able to identify it but I didn't pin it for a Nike hat. This is a men's vintage Nike Agassi hat. This is skull and cross racket. So I believe this is Andre Agassi, the tennis player. This one sold for $500. Here you can see this hat was new with the tags. And then here on the back, you can see it does have the Nike check. Next is a Levi's hat. So some of these I think might catch you off guard. You might not realize they are worth as much as they are, but I'm hoping this video helps you to gain a little more knowledge into hats. This is a vintage 1970s Levi Strauss denim hat 
patch blue and brown so it's important to put the patch on there i think people might search for that this one sold for 500 dollars. here is the patch up close so you can see and here's the back this one was a strap back adjustable so it doesn't have to be a snap back in order to bring big money all right more corduroy more three stripes definitely things you want to remember this is a 1988 daytona 500 three stripe corduroy snapback hat so it's got a lot of things going for it this one sold for 499.95 here is the front of the hat showing the daytona 500 and it is from 1988 here is the side showing those three stripes and here's the inside showing this is a hundred percent cotton and this one was made in korea so you do not have to have hats made in the usa in order to make big money all right we have another one at 499 dollars it is a pepsi free hat this one definitely looks vintage this is a never worn mint vintage 80s or 90s rare retro pepsi free three stripe there you go again trucker hat sold for 4.99 here's the side you can see this is perfectly shaped you can tell it hasn't been worn you can see the three stripes and here on the bottom of the hat you can see it barely sticking out there it says made in the usa all right this is the only one on this video that is harley this one sold for 500 dollars. this is a vintage harley davidson usa made black leather captain biker hat so look at that style this one sold for 499.95 here is the front that bill is very very big as far as the harley logo and here on the underside in the leather you can see the harley davidson logo all right we have a champion spark plug another three stripe hat this is a vintage champion spark plug three stripe swingster trucker hat it sold for five hundred dollars here on the side i just wanted to show you those three stripes all right and then we have a rasta beanie really fun sold for so much because of the brand this one is a christian dior this is a rare vintage christian dior by john galliano 2004 rasta beanie hat it sold for 498 dollars i wanted to show you this seller found the ad that the hat was shown in and they did have that in their photos and then here on the back you can see this hat was brand new you can see it still has the tag and it was never worn all right another type of hat that i personally haven't really looked at i didn't realize there could be some that sell for so much money this is a vintage never worn makins woven black and tan fedora this one sold for 499 dollars and 88 cents here is the side of the fedora just a very very clean look and here is the bottom showing the makins tag and this one was brand new there were quite a few hats at $500 that were different. That's why I didn't go below 500 in this video. And I really want to show you the variety that you can sell these hats for so much money. This next one is a cowboy hat. This is a vintage Stetson Trero Western wear hat 5X beaver tusk. It sold for $500 dollars. You can see they do have the box with it. Here's the side of the hat. And then here underneath you can see very very clean very nice hat here on the inside of the hat you can see it does say john b stetson 5x beaver all right we are finally moving past that 500 dollars point this next one sold for 550. this is another one of the vintage levi's patch i wanted to show you again another one sold in that 500 dollars range this one for 550. here is the inside of the hat showing the size so you do want to be sure to show the size in your photos as well as the tag this next one is a brand that i haven't heard in quite a while it is stussy so this is a stussy vintage snapback black and gold crown hat this one sold for 566 dollars 99 here you can see the hat and also on the inside you can see it does say stussy original cap next is the only hockey hat on here i feel like hockey's not as popular as like football and baseball in the u.s but this one still sold for over 550 dollars this is a vintage san jose sharks hockey snapback 1990s nhl hockey it sold for 560 dollars this one is sports specialties brand which did come up a lot and that was a great sale 
It was an auction. It had 27 bids to get to that $560 selling price. And then we have another sports specialty hat, but this one is a wool Chicago Cubs. This is a vintage 90s sports specialties rare black wool Cubs snapback sold for $600. Here's the back of it. They do show the snapback and then the inside of the hat showing the tag that says sports specialties. And then we have another wool hat. This one is the Raiders. This is a vintage Los Angeles Raiders starter snapback hat. This one was 100% wool, brand new with tags. It sold for $600. You can see here on the tag, this was part of their throwback series. And then here on the back has the classic starter logo. If you don't know, starter can be a great brand for hats shirts and jackets i sold a starter jacket for almost 200 dollars. watch for those classic starter satin jackets those can be big money as well so up next this is a rare vintage 90s snoop dog doggy style sample snapback tupac biggie rap concert this one sold for 599 dollars. here is the front of it up close and then here on the back you can see it does say snoop doggy dog next we have another three stripe hat this is a three stripe hat rare sample production cap trucker vintage usa hidden message this one sold for six hundred dollars here's the inside it says you just read our hidden message your message will have the same impact that is the hidden message and then here is the back showing it is a snapback and it says made in the usa Next is a hat that I'm unsure if it was supposed to be like this or if it was a mess up. This is a double script hat. This is a vintage 90s Los Angeles Raiders Ram. It says Raiders and Rams, so I guess it has Raiders and Rams there. So maybe it's supposed to be like that, but it's super hard to read. Double script hat. It says test print, so I really feel like this was kind of a mistake of sorts but i might be wrong if i'm wrong you can correct me down in the comments this one sold for six hundred dollars here you can see up close again they're written over each other it's hard to read but sold for six hundred dollars here is the back showing the snapback and inside of the hat you can see this one is headwear and it says one size fits all made in korea this next one is actually an antique hat and I know cowboy hats can sell really high. If you don't know, you do now. I always check out cowboy hats whenever I see them. This is an 1890 to 1910 Stetson black cowboy hat. It sold for $600. Here you can see it up close. It's got the rolled edges. And then here on the inside on the leather, you can see it is stamped Stetson. More sports specialties for big money. This is a 90s NBA vintage Portland Trailblazers sports specialty snapback hat. This one sold for $582.30. And again, here on the inside, you can see that tag. This next one, I think, is the funnest hat in this video. Definitely would have caught my eye. It is really amazing, really, really out there, but it sold for big money. This is a 2005 Prada Runway Peacock Feather Bucket Hat. It sold for $600. Here you can see up close, this is real peacock feathers on this crazy hat. Here's the inside showing it does have the Prada tag and it does say made in Italy. All right, we are up over $600. This next one sold for almost $630 and it is a Coca-Cola hat. This is a rare vintage Enjoy Coke three-striped mesh trucker hat. This one sold for $629.30. Here you can see on the side the classic three stripes. And then here on the inside, this one is a Nissan cap. I have found quite a few Nissan caps, so definitely keep your eye out. Up next is a hat I have never seen in the wild. I'm going to assume that these are probably pretty rare, but I wanted to show you it. It is a flight attendant hat. This is a May Hanauer stewardess flight attendant 20 pillbox hat from united airlines in 1970 this one sold for 637 dollars here you can see on the inside of the tag it has the designer's name as well as new york all right this next one was an auction and thus far 
if they were an auction I have told you so if I didn't tell you it was an auction that means that it was a buy it now this is a vintage true religion embroidered hat so same as the jean brand and their jeans sell for good money as well this one got 22 bids sold for 650 dollars here on the inside you can see the classic true religion signature and tag up next is a fedora hat this is a vintage excellent 1940s stetson whippet silver belly beaver fedora hat it sold for 640 dollars here you can see they did have the original box with it and here on the inside of the hat you can see it is clearly marked royal stetson and whippet up next is a marvel hat this one is a really really great example of comic stuff that can sell really high this is a rare 1993 marvel american needle bishop hat never worn it was new with the tags it sold for 699 dollars here it is up close showing bishop and then on the back you can see it has the spell out and you can see the tag hanging there as well all right we have a nike flame hat i always pay close attention to hats that have flames and there are going to be a couple of other things that i'm going to show you to watch out for in this video coming up so this is a vintage nike flame hat y2k rare strap back swoosh sold for 700 dollars here on the inside you can see the classic nike swoosh tag this the next one is one that i have never heard of but it sold for great money and it's a beanie it's a beanie i have sold some beanies close to a hundred dollars so i know some beanies can bring very very good money this is a stone island vintage grail authentic badge beanie it sold for seven hundred dollars here on the inside of the beanie you can see it is very clearly marked so you would be able to look it up and then here on the front you can see the stone island badge all right next is a chicago bulls hat this is a vintage chicago bulls logo athletic spike snapback this one sold for 692 dollars here is the side showing that classic chicago bulls logo and here on the inside you can see this one is logo athletic which definitely is a brand to keep an eye out for this and next one is a shark's tooth if you do not know what shark's tooth is look at this hat learn this and watch out for these hats because typically they are big money this is a vintage cleveland cavaliers double shark's tooth logo athletic hat you can see those shark teeth marks on them these hats can go for big money this one sold for 699 dollars here is the hat from the side and then here on the inside you can see this is another logo athletics hat all right we have got another bucket hat this is a christian dior rasta trotter bucket hat john galliano it sold for 695 dollars here you can see the hat up close with the classic christian dior logo as well as those rasta colors and then here on the inside you can see it does say christian dior boutique paris it was size 58 what would christian dior be without showing you chanel this is a lovely ladies hat i would not have guessed that it would sell for this much but typically most of your chanel stuff is gonna sell high this is a chanel vintage 1990s graphic multi-color camellia print floppy hat this one sold for 749 dollars here on the inside you can see the chanel and the hat size is 57 I wanted to show you this here on the mannequin this is just a, a really beautiful classic hat we've got more corduroy coming in at 750 dollars this is a vintage sports specialties remember these brands guys cord zip back snap back oregon state beavers rare they put a lot of keywords in there that was a lot of keywords uh, it is corduroy they shortened it putting cord here's the interior of the hat and then here's the back showing that it is strap back so this was not a snapback hat the seller put it in there which is not something i personally would do but they were trying to grab those other buyers and then we have another logo athletics hat this is a vintage 1990s la lakers snapback hat this one sold for 740 dollars here again is that tag on the inside showing that logo athletics brand so keep an eye out for those 
And then we have another fedora. This is a rare 1970 vintage ski do snowmobile advertising wool fedora hat. This one's really, really different. I think this one probably would have caught my eye. This one sold for $746. Here you can see they did have the box that it came in and then here is the marking on the inside. Some more shark's tooth hat coming in over $700. This is a 1990s NBA vintage Clippers logo athletic shark tooth snapback hat. This one sold for $737.58. All right, next brings a point to me that I want to say if you see stuff with brands that you know are typically expensive brands, in this case, it is a car brand, it is a Porsche hat that sold for almost $700 keep an eye out for those. I sold a Mercedes Polo for almost $100. So watch for those car names on apparel as well. This is a vintage 1948 Porsche design leather driving cap rare. They put Gatsby because this is like a great Gatsby style hat. It sold for $799.99. Here's the Porsche design tag and I just wanted to show you this hat pulled out really really nice leather hat that one i definitely would have paid attention to next is a brand that i did not expect to see in high dollar hats it's ralph lauren this is a vintage ralph lauren polo ski racing fleece cap from 1993 1992-1993 it sold for 850 dollars here is that hat you can see up on the front you can see it says polo racing 1992 and here's the inside of the hat showing that Ralph Lauren logo. All right, now we are up to hats that sell for over a thousand dollars. And the first one over a thousand is a shark's tooth. This is a vintage Oakland LA Raiders shark tooth logo NFL Pro Line snapback hat. This one sold for a thousand dollars. And here on the inside, you can see it's another logo athletics. This next one is classic, definite vintage retro style. It is a three stripe and it's a root beer hat. This is a vintage new, never worn, hires root beer, three stripe, made in the USA, sold for $1,000. Here you can see on the back, that one definitely looks in immaculate condition and that was a great sale at $1,000. This next one is a really dirty and stained hat that still sold for a thousand dollars so don't discount hats that are stained or look rough they still could be really big money this is a vintage los angeles dodgers snapback hat sports script specialties this one was an auction got 38 bids sold for a thousand dollars here i wanted to show you on the back you can see the brim of this hat is just stained really really bad here on the interior again stains it's dirty and it's still sold for a thousand dollars next is another thousand dollar hat this one is king's island this is a king's island the beast snapback vintage rare hat it sold for $999. Here it is on the side. This is a really, really cool corduroy, kind of all over print hat. And here is the inside of the hat. And then this one looks like a classic hat to me. If you find these hats, definitely research them. I wouldn't overprice because if you overprice, they're not going to sell. But definitely check a history and see where your hat has been selling for price point wise. And Worthpoint is a great tool for that because you can see 10 years of history. I love using Worth Point when it comes to things that possibly could be high dollars so I can get that 10 year history on them. This is a vintage Chicago White Sox sports specialty snapback two tone. This one sold for a thousand dollars and here on the inside you can see that classic sports specialties tag. All right. I lied earlier. I thought there was only one Harley hat, but there are two. This next one is Harley and it's three stripe. This is a vintage Harley Davidson mesh three stripe trucker hat. This one sold for $1,200. Here on the inside of the hat, you can see it's clearly made in the USA. And then here on the side, another three stripe hat. Keep an eye out for those three stripe hats. 
All right, next is a hat that has scrambled eggs on it. That is what it is called on the front of this bill. This is a vintage 80s, extremely rare, three stripe white and blue Pepsi Cola hat. And on the front there, they call those scrambled eggs. That is another thing to look for on vintage hats that sell very well. This one sold for $1,500. Here on the tag, you can see it does say it was made in the USA. All right, we are up to our top five selling hats. Really exciting. This next one's a lot, and it's the only lot I put in there, but I wanted to show you. Personally, I wouldn't lot up these higher dollar hats. I would sell them individually, but the seller got a great sales price for a lot of three hats. This is a lot of three vintage Indiana Hoosiers hats. This one sold for $19 hundred dollars and i wanted to show you these tags one you can see here is a sports cap and then there is also one with a g and this one just said it was made in taiwan only the one was a mesh trucker hat but that was a great sale for 1900 next is another ralph lauren polo hat that sold for over two thousand dollars this is a very rare 90s ralph lauren polo climb the big thing with this is it was a long bill long bill hats can be good money i got a fishing hat one of these and i believe mine sold for about 50 dollars and it was columbia brand so keep an eye out this one got 50 bids sold for two thousand forty five dollars and twenty cents here is the hat from the side so you can see exactly how long that bill is and here is the ralph lauren tag on the inside all right, these top three hats are all slice brand. The highest one sold for $10,000 and they are all very, very similar. This first one was a new Apple slice snapback. This one sold for $2,500 and that is a great sale. So watch out for these slice hats. Next is a diet slice hat. This is a vintage new never worn diet slice snapback three stripe made in the USA. This one sold for $2,799. And here on the back, you can see it was a snapback. This next one, I'm not sure if it was paid for. It is the exact hat I just showed you for $2,500. But this one was an auction and went over $10,000 dollars they were two different sellers this is a vintage it's possible the auction went really high they didn't buy and the seller ended up selling for 2500 either way whether it went for 2500 or 10,000 watch for these slice hats so here you can see the same hat on auction with 36 bids went to ten thousand dollars I did look it up it did not say it was relisted but it's possible it didn't get paid for and it was the same hat that sold for $2,500. Just keep that in mind. I mean, either way, if you pay a few bucks for a hat and you get $2,500, you get $10,000. Both would be incredible, right? So I hope this has educated you and taught you some new styles of hats to look out for. They definitely are out there and they definitely can be found for cheap. That's why I like hats. I like bundling hats. So if they have hats at a garage sale or an estate sale, I will offer to buy them all to try and get the price lower. I love doing that. And hats are really easy. Just get yourself a styrofoam head to photograph them on and shape them, make them look a little better. And you could be making a ton of profit. They're really easy to ship as well. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have another idea you would like me to do a research video on, definitely let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you have not. I appreciate you watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Hi everybody. We are at Brad's Cousins. It is 4th of July. So happy 4th of July. I hope you had a great one. I am going to go ahead and choose our winner for the free month of list perfectly now so don't go anywhere if you enter all right we are going to pick our winner here i have list perfectly and we are going to get the comments there are 216 unique comments so now we are going to go down and pick a winner.
Julie Foster. So Julie Foster, email me and I will get you set up with a free month of List Perfectly.